Welcome back! I hope you were able to find some cool mushrooms. One of my favorite parts of mushroom hunting and an extremely important part to mushroom identification is taking spore prints. Like we learned earlier from Mycelium Irwin, mushrooms store their reproductive cells or spores in their gills. So to take a spore print, we just have to separate the cap from the stem and then you're going to place the cap gill side down on a piece of paper. Spores come in a variety of colors, black, brown, white, even blue, red, and purple. Because spores can come in white, if you have a sheet of black paper around, it's best to lie your cap half on black and half on white. If you don't have black paper, that's okay. You can just color on your white paper with a black marker or crayon. Once you set up all your caps that you want to identify, you're going to cover them with a bowl or a cup so that they will be undisturbed for at least 24 hours. Spores are really sensitive and can get blown by the slightest breeze. So keep them, set them, forget them. I started this spore print yesterday so we can identify it together. You can take your cup off and then pick up the cap to see what color your spore print is. Once you know what color spore print you have, you're ready to ID. You can use a mushroom guidebook. This one is available at Powell's for only $5 or check your library or even use online guidebooks. Be sure to consider all the ways you've observed your mushrooms. What color spore print do they have? What color was the mushroom itself? How big was it? Where was it growing? On a log or out of the ground? Did it have any particular smell? Some mushrooms smell like cinnamon. Once you know the answer to all these questions, you're ready to ID.